Tonight, a family is trying to rebuild after losing everything to a fire. Their home near Karen and Sahara burned to the ground. Fox 5's Drew Andre is live with the details of the terrifying moments for the kids inside. Drew. Well, and John, it was a family of six that lived in this home along with their two dogs. The fire started outside and then quickly spread through the home in what has been just an incredibly tough year for this family. A look back at what's left. Memories of a childhood, a family picking through the pieces. We own it. It was ours, you know. It's my first time ever owning anything. Kiana Johns and Edwin Kinchelo were out shopping for work clothes for their son, who just secured his first job. The happiness turned to worry when they got a call from their neighbor. Their house was up in flames. Their 13 and 10-year-old children were home at the time. I was wanting to know that my babies was okay. I was like super scared. Smelling the smoke, both managed to get out safely and rescued their two dogs with the help of a neighbor. The fire that started outside ripped through their home. Their pet reptiles and fish didn't survive, and neither did any belongings. Yeah, it's just start over, you know, and try and do it again. You know what I mean? Just pray that it don't happen again, you know what I mean? It's already been a rough year for this family. Working at a convenience store, Kiana had a gun pulled on her last month. He shot at me. He tried to take my life over a bottle of wine. She now works as a security officer at the Strat, and that's where they're staying for the next week. But beyond that is still uncertain. I truly believe like when you go through stuff like this, you know what I mean, it, it, it's something better at the end of it. You know what I mean, you just gotta, you know what I mean, stay strong and deal with it. A hard attitude to have given the situation. It's still not clear what started this fire, and so the cause is still under investigation. John. Drew, thank you. And the family started a fundraiser to help rebuild. You can search their name, Kinchelo, in GoFundMe to find it.